We are here on the scene where we've been see seeing crews cleaning up at the house that you can see right here behind me. Now joining me is Keith. He's a neighbor who you say you, you were home last night. Can you tell us what you saw? Um, at about, oh, a little after 9 o'clock, the police came around and told us all to stay indoors and to just not come outside at all. And after that, we could hear them moving around. They had SWAT teams across the street here, behind the house, up there. Around. Oh, sorry, in the alley here. And after that, it was quiet for a while. You saw lights turning off and on and off in the house. And it was just quiet. Then about a little before midnight, they flipped a the spotlight onto the house. And about half hour after that, he came out on the porch yelling and they were yelling at him to put his hands up and I was standing inside my front door watching it and then I heard a pop and he went down. Right there on the porch? Yes. And what was it like, you said you're new to the area, what was it like with this commotion going on? You know, I moved into this neighborhood a month ago, it's a quiet neighborhood, um, everyone waves to each other, so it was just, I never expected something like this here. Absolutely, absolutely. And what was the atmosphere like with the rest of the neighbors? Were you able to see or sense anything? Uh, everyone was just wondering what was going on exactly. No one really had an idea of what was going on other than we all knew what had happened earlier in the day. But other than that, they just told us to stay inside. So we were just all in the dark about it. Yes. And now you say that you heard that pop, but you said at the time you didn't, you didn't really know exactly what happened. Yeah, I didn't know exactly what happened. I just heard a pop and um, he went down on the porch. Well, we are so sorry that you had to see this. Thank you so much, Keith. Thank you. Yes, and again, as Sarah had mentioned, that pop was the gentleman committing suicide right there on the porch here in Hastings. But Sarah, of course, this is a very developing situation and very emotional for neighbors who had to be here to witness it. We're going to continue to get information as it becomes available to us and continue to share it here on NTV News as well as our social media platforms.